So it is my mission today to make today a good day. Try not to let anything get to me. Try not to let anything frustrate me. Try to be motivated, fun, energetic. So I got my apple. Got my apple. They say an apple in the morning is better than a cup of coffee. But guess what? I got the cup of coffee too. <laughs> um, I just, I'm at this point. In, in the school year, it's not in my job, it's not in my career, because I still, at the heart of it, that's what I want to be doing. I want to be teaching, I want to be going to a school, I want to be working with kids. But, this particular group just drags me down so easily. And it's, the, the main problem with it really is that it's not the whole group, it's three to four kids in my class that just don't get it. And they hog all of my time and my attention and I can't give it to the kids who can actually use it. As sad as that may seem, these three to four kids are likely not going anywhere. And it pains me to say that. It truly, truly does because I want to believe that every child has a chance to succeed. But from what these kids have shown me over the last five months every single day is that is not on their radar. It's just not. And that is really, really disturbing. And it's frustrating. And it, it, it angers me sometimes. And I come home and I, I displace that anger around things at the house that have nothing to do with it. And are pointless, trivial things. So, I'm just really, really pushing. Pushing hard. And pulling and turning and all these things to get these kids to want to learn something it's not happening I've never had this much difficulty at this point in the school year this much pushback it's emotionally degrading um, on a different kind of a note we've experimented with putting nightgowns on our almost two-year-old so that she's she's covered when she's sleeping but not constrained by sleeves and, and pant legs uh, she's also recently started to try to take off her own diaper at bath time and you wouldn't typically think those two are connected until you wake her up in the morning and you see she has no diaper on in the crib. Fortunately, she's a pretty good sleeper in that she doesn't pee a whole time while she's sleeping because we're, we're moving in that potty training stage, trying to get her not to go overnight. Um, and she definitely doesn't poop in her sleep very often at all. So we got that going for us, which is good. Uh, most of her stuff was dry she got up there was one blanket that had a, a strong scent of urine to it um, and when I found the discarded diaper it did have a little bit of, of trace of some so we're washing her bedding this morning it happens I guess this is the first of it but there's always something new so that's where I'm at lift me up in your thoughts and your prayers that I can finish this school year like I started it Motivated and ready. See you this afternoon.